Jason Derulo is known as a lover, not a fighter, but his reputation didn't stop him from throwing down at a Las Vegas casino. So what caused all this to go down? Let's get into it. A late night out in Sin City ended in violence for Jason Derulo this week. Las Vegas police said the fight broke out in the lobby of the Aria Resort and Casino around 2 a.m. on Tuesday. Eyewitnesses revealed that the incident began when Jason and one of the men involved passed by one another on the escalator. In a video obtained by TM that we unfortunately do not have the rights to. The men yelled out, Hey Usher, f you bitch. That's when Jason lost his cool and allegedly punched the man, tackling him to the ground. The incident didn't end there. Jason slapped a second man moments later, even as security tried to intervene. Fan videos taken at the scene show a handcuffed Jason being kicked off the property by police. Now, officials say that Jason allegedly committed battery against the two individuals, but the victims have opted not to press charges. A lawsuit is always possible, though. The men have up to a year to change their minds and bring charges against Jason. From what we can tell, the injuries weren't serious and didn't warrant a trip to the hospital, though the two guys did appear to lose some blood from facial wounds. Jason clearly has a zero-tolerance policy for being mistaken for other pop stars, but it's unclear from the video whether the men genuinely thought he was Usher or if they were just heckling him. This isn't the first time Jason's been caught brawling after a late night out on the town. In 2016, he was involved in a fight outside an LA nightclub that only stopped once police drew their weapons. Yikes. It's been a long, strange couple of years for Jason. He starred in the critically panned Cats in 2019, became a first-time dad in 2021, and spent much of the pandemic going viral on TikTok. Jason's actually the 14th most popular person on the app, with more than 50 million followers. He was probably looking to blow off some steam in Vegas, but like Ed Sheeran says, nothing good happens after 2 a.m. Now, Jason just tweeted earlier this week about personal wins and losses in 2021 and how he hopes to create more memories going into 2022. If there's one thing you can say about his night out in Sin City, it's that it was certainly memorable. Jason's team hasn't officially commented on the fight, but of course, fans are sounding off online. Some were supportive of the way he took on the guys in the casino writing, glad you stood up for yourself with hecklers. Trolls, on the other hand, opted to poke fun of the situation, tweeting, what a way to usher in the new year. Oh man, I'll never really understand the need to physically attack another human, but I'm sure strangers shouting things didn't help. Only time will tell whether or not Jason will face legal consequences for the fight. Click right over here for more on Jason Derulo, then let us know all your thoughts on this fight. I mean, I think being compared to usher is a compliment, but probably not the F you that came before that. And I mean, I can understand the frustration of being taunted by a stranger, especially when your signature move is shouting your name at the beginning of your songs, right? For now, I'm your host, Carly Henderson. Come find me on social media at Carly Henderson underscore, and I'll catch you next time.